Hi, I'm Deacon Chris with this week's Word of the Month on the Word Faith. Now, in my family, I am typically the one that does grocery shopping. And I usually grocery shop on Fridays and I plan out the week's worth of groceries. And I actually enjoy going around and thinking through and planning the meals for the upcoming week and in preparing for everything. I go through our pantry, I go through our refrigerator, I go into our garage and look at some of the things and I love to take account of everything that we have and ask myself the question, do we have enough food for this week? And so I will make up my list. I might add things like uh, eggs and milk and uh, all the specific ingredients that we need for different recipes that we are going to make that week. And so my grocery list becomes the list of things that we need to get us through that week. And for the most part, everything goes smoothly. But then there are some times that things don't go smoothly. So for example, if I get meat and we don't cook it in time and it spoils, then suddenly we have to scramble or at times I have to go to the store to get that ingredient again. And so normally I enjoy this, this planning and this wrestling and feeling confident knowing that we have enough. But then sometimes in life something comes up and suddenly we are thrust with this question of, do I truly have enough? So sometimes it's with food. Do I have enough food to get me through this week? But then sometimes something unexpected comes up. Maybe you have a car or something that breaks down and suddenly you have this unexpected six or $700 car bill. And you think, do we have enough money? Maybe you have this health scare and suddenly you're thrust with this question of, do we have enough insurance? See, this question of enough comes up at random times and it has this sort of ability to make us doubt everything that we have. And we find that we had a whole lot of faith in our own planning abilities and in the different stores of stuff that we had, the stores of food that we had that would get us through that week, the stores of money that we have in the bank that would get us through this week or this month or all the way to the next paycheck or the different things that we had that would get us through this time. And then something crops up and suddenly we're wrestling with, do I have enough? Whenever this stuff happens, whenever we pray the Lord's Prayer in worship or at home, that line, give us today our daily bread, just comes up in all caps, neon lights, and just hits me right to my heart of, do I trust God to provide me with my daily bread? Now that text uh, refers back to an experience with the Israelites back in during the Exodus. God had delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh, from the Egyptians, and they were traveling in the wilderness. And they weren't very long into the wilderness when suddenly they started panicking and worrying about food. And they thought, but maybe, maybe we need to go back to Egypt because at least there we had food, we had shelter, these kinds of things. And here's this reality of these Israelites that have been delivered from slavery and suddenly they're thinking, well, maybe slavery isn't that bad because at least there we had food and shelter. And they take these complaints to God and God listens and God says to them, I will provide you with daily bread. Now what they called it was this stuff called manna, which means what is it? And so God says to the Israelites, every morning when you wake up, you will see manna on the ground and you are to collect it just for that day. And every evening I will provide meat for you. And so it became this experience of faith, this experience of trust in God to provide. And sure enough, every day they would wake up in the morning and it said that there would be this dew over the ground. And when the dew would lift, there was this flaky white substance that they would call manna and it would be enough for them to eat for that day. And then it said at night quail would come and they would kill the quail and they would have meat that night. And so this story becomes this experience of the Israelites and this relationship with God, this trust, this faith that God would provide for them this daily substance, this 
daily bread for them. And so there are times that I struggle. There are times that I struggle with unbelief, wondering when something comes up, if I have enough. And I think of this idea of daily bread and do I have faith to trust in God that God will provide? Well, a couple weeks ago, I came across this sermon from the theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And he wrote this sermon to some confirmants, some young boys that were preparing for, to, um, to uh, proclaim this faith that they have in Jesus Christ. And he wrote this sermon for them. And uh, he has some very profound words for these confirmation students. And so I want to read an excerpt of this sermon to you today that he wrote to them in 1938 in Germany when there was so, so much turmoil and so much unease. And here are these children that are ready to confess their faith. And this is what he writes to them about the life of faith. Bonhoeffer writes, the faith that you will confess today with your hearts needs to be regained tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, indeed, every day anew. We receive from God only as much faith as we need for the present day. Faith is the daily bread that God gives us. You know the story about manna. This is what the children of Israel received daily in the desert. But when they wanted to store it for the next day, it was rotten. This is how it is with faith. Either we receive it daily anew or it rots. One day is just long enough to preserve the faith. Every morning, it is a new struggle to fight through all unbelief, faint-heartedness, lack of clarity and confusion, anxiety and uncertainty in order to arrive at faith and to wrest it from God. Every morning in your life, the same prayer will be necessary. I believe, dear Lord, help my unbelief. And so I pray that you and me each day have this prayer to God. Give me enough faith to get me through today and that we have enough trust to know that when we wake up tomorrow, God will provide exactly our daily bread for that day as well. Thank you.